Mandy goes off on Bridget Kelly for stealing her money. She changed the bank account and changed the email and changed the name. Her and Blue booted out to see the thing is email access. I have no access to seeing anything now. Once we announced we were ending, Patreon dropped to under $3,000. She dropped that video talking shit about me. There was $17,000 in there. So no, you don't get to make $15,000 off my name and I just let you keep that shit. As delete the Patreon, start from scratch. You don't get any assets from this business. Stop. I want all assets dissolved. Danny, Instagram, gone. RSS feed, gone. YouTube, gone. Everything could be gone. I don't mind starting from scratch. Or she could have everything for the $35,000 that she quoted me for. That's right, on Instagram Live, Mandy addressed Bridget Kelly for Jack and her Patreon. She accused her of changing the password, switching bank accounts, and even revealed that Bridget Kelly took $15,000 from her. That's right, this is getting ugly, and for the first time in a podcast breakup, we are seeing the actual evidence the money, and what really goes on behind the scenes during a breakup. And I must say, I love it, baby. But what this whole Instagram Live was about was Mandy airing out how Bridget broke the terms of some type of dissolution agreement, and now Mandy plans to proceed forward with a lawsuit. And... I don't know if she's going to actually do it, but she's saying she's going to do it. And I just want to say, I think it's time for me to take my victory lap. I remember I made a video a couple weeks ago. I said, Mandy sent Bridget to cease and desist. People in the comments were calling me crazy. They were saying I played myself. But last night, I was in my bed watching Unsolved Mysteries. Not the new one. Now, the Netflix one is cool, but I was watching the old one. I got the Peacock app. They got a channel where they just stream all the unsolved mysteries. They were giving the Son of Sam episodes, and I saw some in my Discord. They said, Danny, Mandy's talking about you. And I said, what? Mandy's talking about me? So I tapped in on the Instagram Live, and I started asking questions, and Mandy was really giving it up. She says that she will not stop until... Bridget deletes the Patreon. That's right, Bridget. She wants you to delete it. She doesn't like you making money. Mandy even says that when Bridget put the Patreon episode up of her dissing Mandy, the value of the Patreon went from 3000 to 15000 That just goes to show you that we're getting real numbers. We're starting to see how much these podcasters are making. A lot of people think, oh man, that pod wasn't making any money. Even on the low end, 3000 36000 a year? For a podcast everybody says was trash, nobody was watching, and then you do a beef episode, and it goes up to fifteen k. Oh man, it's getting juicy. But my thing is, I think Mandy should just let Bridget Kelly have it. So what? Let her have that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be confident that the show will fail without you. That's what you gotta do. I, I would, hey, Horrible Decisions is lit. Full Court Studios is a business that's also ran by Mandy. So why is she so invested in possibly paying the lawyer fees that might cost more than just seeing this out, like just letting it happen. And there's three letters. Ego! Bridget and Mandy are now in a battle of egos. And neither side wants to cave in. Well, I understand Bridget. Bridget probably like, I don't want to give my money up. We grew this. I don't, you know. My guess is at some point, they will come to some type of terms. Maybe, you know, Mandy will get some type of perpetuity. And we'll see how that goes. But let me know what you think in the comments. I don't really take sides. 
But if I had to observe this, I would be more on Mandy's side. Largely because I don't think you should be able to take my Patreon, repurpose it, and put your name on top if it's something we established together. And a lot will be revealed. Let me know what you think in the comments. I believe people really like Bridget a lot, so they think everything Mandy does is wrong. And I do think Mandy, while she was saying the show made her tired, sometimes I wonder if she does things above and beyond in order to exert control. We all have that coworker, right, in the workplace. You know, you're in the workplace, they start doing extra stuff. You think they're being a nice person, but what they really trying to do is control the situation. That way they can throw you under the bus if it goes down. But that's my video for today. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace.